right, we're going to be watching Sappho, who's playing Silver 1. I think this is PC, uh, Kiriko on Ilios. Silver 1, Kiriko, VOD request. I know I'm making a lot of mistakes and realize that I'm unaware a lot of times, but I generally don't know what I could have done better. I play Kiriko since I can shift away quickly and also pump and heals, but I thought we could have won this and something just switched and we didn't. I built up Kintsune Rush far too slowly, and I don't know if it's because I was either too proactive in the fight or too neutral. I have a bad habit of tunnel visioning, and it shows, I think. Uh, I think I let my DPS die a lot, <coughs> and I didn't fight with them out of fear. Like my Reaper and May dying when I was close to them, I didn't heal or Shuzu in time. I stuck with my tank a lot and heal bought it, and I know my Kintsune Rush in the second map was basically way too to how far in I put it. Very lost, and I started playing Overwatch midway through Season 2, so any advice is appreciated. So for starters, you know, welcome, welcome to Overwatch. Um, it's a very complex game, there's a lot going on here, and I'm going to do my best to try to help you out. For the record, if your continuing rush is not coming fast enough, almost assuredly it's because you're not healing enough. <clears throat> Damaging is very, very hard to to, to farm Kitsune. You're going to heal like literally 5 to 10 times as much <coughs> damage as you do. So if you want to get Kitsune faster, just heal. Focus on healing. Alright, let's start. So we're starting here. Uh, it's you plus the Ana, so I would think that you probably should be sticking with the DPS here, and your Ana should be sticking on the, the, the ride. It's just much easier for Ana because she has to track... She has to aim, right? Well, you don't really have to aim near as much for you to stay with the DPS, and you can get much farther away. And so, <coughs> generally speaking, you should be keeping the DPS up, <coughs> and the Rhine should be, uh, the Anna should be keeping your Rhine up. All right. So great, you got two pixel right away. Oh, actually, I want to move on a little bit. So right here, I think I already would have swift stepped and Suzu. Again, I think a good general tip for you right now is when you see heroes are critical, immediately throw Suzu. <laughs> I think you went too too slowly here. Then you you are open yourself up to the junk rat behind you. He could have easily one shot you right here. So again, when you went in, you should have immediately suzued and then just walked back where it was safe. This right, this junk rat should have killed you. All right, so now you're up five on three. Great. Remember, you only get two attacks between healing. I think the, the highest priority is not your attacks; it's your healing. Right? I would say always make sure you get your heal in. <laughs> don't worry so much if you if you don't get a, an attack in, right? I think she always get in the habit of like every single time healing is up, heal. You're going to win far more games healing than you are doing damage. I will tell you that right now. You could probably not damage at all and get all the way to like low diamond. You literally should focus like healing to to the exclusion of damage if, if absolutely necessary. I would not stand still ever in Overwatch. You like right now it seems like not a big deal, but you never know when like someone they kind of got tracer or widow or something and you instantly kill. So I would play further up here. I, <laughs> I think it's a mistake that your ride is playing all the way back. I would play up here with your DPS because it's really hard for you to heal them from this far away. Like your healing takes a really long time to get through the air <laughs> and then they could die before you get there. It's also hard to throw Suzu's this far away. So I would step up. I think a really important part of playing support is recognizing the closer, <laughs> the closer I am to the fight, the more I can do, but the more risk that I'm in. And so calibrating that risk is a really important part of the game. So yes, you're safer back here, but if your DPS die, then you're going to lose the fight anyway. So you might as well play closer here, which is actually quite safe still. Like it's only maybe 10-25% more dangerous, but you could do 50-75% to more value. So <laughs> again, you saw your Reaper drop critical. I think it would have been reasonable to Swiss step Suzu and just walk away. I think that's a very... Now I would for sure Suzu. I would, yeah, you, I would Suzu right here. You 100% should Suzu. Again, the general general rule is if they get critical, right, critical is below 50%, immediately Suzu. I would Suzu even before then because you saw that he ended Wraith in front of the whole team. So that's big right there. Missing missing that, that kill is important. Yeah, I don't, you don't need to Suzu if your Ryan has a shield up, but otherwise I would say generally. So you see this happen, and you recognize I have two problems. Number one, my Ryan is facing off against three people. <laughs> Number two is the Anna going after the Anna. In this situation, I would save your Anna first. The Rhine is full health right now, right? And he has some shield and he has charge. I wouldn't worry about him. I would 100% make sure that the Anna does not die. How do I make sure the Anna doesn't die? Run towards the Anna while attacking the Genji. That way you can easily heal slash Suzu here, and it makes it easier for you to hit the Genji. You're kind of playing your own life right now, but your priority should be to keep the Anna alive. Right? Now, because you didn't, the Anna didn't get help from you, she she walks up to point, which is a mistake. If you simply swift stepped over here and fought you two fought the Genji, the Genji would 100% lose this, and then you two would be in a much better spot. But now the Anna <laughs> is really overextended, and now you're in a bad position. Still point though, it's good. Uh, I think this is a reasonable Katsune. It's unfortunate that the Ram just died, but I th I think the general idea. I mean, they popped out here too, so that's fine. 
It's pretty hard to kill Valkyrie Mercy. She heals for, for quite a bit. I think it's just <laughs> keep your Anna alive right now versus trying to kill the, the Valkyrie. Like, you see how you're not really doing anything to the to the Anna? To the, the Mercy, rather? Like, I would just kept the Anna, your, your Anna alive there. Like, you're just dodging, like, even the Mercy's gonna trouble killing you, too. Alright, we're just gonna skip ahead. Finish the alive. I mean, that's fine. It's not really your job to kill him in this situation. Yeah, I try to go Lucio. Great. So, once this happens, you really need to step out of this ASAP. Okay, good. So, you miss an opportunity right here. You see the Reaper is critical, right? This would have been a good opportunity to, to swift step <laughs> and then Suzu and walk away. She's critical again. <laughs> You're just too, too afraid. Um, I think you don't want to lose a game because you didn't try. And that's really important, right? You're, you're over-prioritizing your own safety <coughs> to the extent of, of not taking chances, you know? It's kind of like at the end of the game, right? At the end of a basketball game, you're down by two points and you have one second left and, you just, and they just scored. Then, you know, you take the ball and you just throw, you know, a full-court shot. Well, you're not likely to make it, right? I mean, like, you know, you're a 5 10% chance of making that shot, maybe. But why not take it, right? And I think that you kind of run into that problem where you're simply just not aggressive enough. So great situation where <laughs> to acknowledge, hey, the ram's attacking the junk rat. You should be, you should heal the junk rat here. See, you don't heal the junk rat at all. You also don't suzu in time, and then you're just gonna you're just gonna die right here. So don't try to stay alive. This fight's over. Understanding when you should die quickly is very important to Overwatch to avoid staggering, which is where you're out of sync with your team. I would twist step up to your junk rat. There's no reason not to. I would Swiss-step and Suzu here, because again, if, if your Reaper dies, like you're going to have to wait for him anyway, so you might as well just Swiss-step and try saving him here. I would still Swiss-step, nope. You for sure could have saved him. There is no, like, he <laughs> he stayed alive for a really long time. That, this was a very easy save. Yeah, way too reticent to uh, move up. And again, see, right now you don't have your Reaper, so like, how are you going to win this fight? Again, late on the Swiss-step, now you just die. Okay, maybe you can get away now. Right? And now, like this is just, you're just stuck in continual stagger mode because you're just not saving people. Let's make a mistake by the just pop fortify right there. Okay. So generally speaking, when your teammates pop ultis, you should use Suzu, right? Any sort of channel ulti to make sure that they don't die. So when I see this, I, I'm surprised because it's not a good ulti location. But throw the Suzu around the corner right now. <coughs> to make sure that he doesn't get interrupted. Because people will usually try to sleep, etc. like right away when he pops ulti. I think I would even swift step to the junk to the Reaper here because their team's in retreat mode. I wanna try to kill off the Reaper the Ram as soon as possible. Yeah, again, you're playing really far back for no reason. You should be playing up up front with your team. Just some supports. Again, your Reaper super low. You, yep. I mean, I would even have thought about going into Suzu, despite the fact that Ramatra ulti is up. Rem the Ramatra is <coughs> purple right now, so. Oh uh, yeah, okay. yeah. I mean, <coughs> when did your Risa die? Why did your Risa die? Oh, he gets booped in. That's what happens. I think it's. Uh, I think it's reasonable. I mean, Sixty-two percent. I think it's fine to just play this out. So if you're letting this happen, you've kind of given up on the fight. Oh, never mind. You're going to win now. So as soon as I see that happen, <coughs> it would have been the right call to, 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 Su to Swiss step and Suzu. I think now I Swiss step, I Suzu, and I pop Rush if I need to to make sure we win the fight. Give the Mercy. Not the deflecting Genji, please. Save. Oh, man. All right. So now you're going to wait for the next fight. So you pop Kitsune here. I, this is not a good time for Kitsune because I think your DPS are not here, right? Your junk's here. Where is your and your Reaper just died? So I think just checking the kill feed, checking the scoreboard, making sure you have your whole team. This is not a not a good Kitsune. So it's four and five right now, and then you walk into spam and die. And I would I point out again, I'm seeing an over emphasis on damage, right? I, it's again, I would say focus on good kill. I would say focus on focus on healing over damage. This, yeah, you, can look at, you didn't see the trap. Um, 
very important to focus on healing. You're just better at healing than you are damage. If you want to do both, if you really, really want to do both, I would say play Baptiste. Um, or, or play Zen if you just want to do damage as a support. Zen is so good, then you, then you don't have to worry about the healing part at all. right? Just throw Harmony on a DPS or the other support and then don't worry about it and just damage away. <clears throat> Alright, so your team is going dive now. I would switch that because you're late coming out of spawn, so I want to be up there. Again, play a lot closer than you think. right? I would say play half the distance closer than what you typically are. Finish healing the May. She blocked, okay you're fine. So you're not looking at the monkey at all, which is a little concerning, right? <clears throat> Again, right now, the monkey's going to come back to you. <clears throat> you're just attacking, but this is not value, right? You should be healing the monkey. The faster you heal the monkey, the faster you can get back into the fight. So, mistake to not... Nope, nope, just heal the monkey, please. Heal your Rana. You should throw Suzu's. I like the way other people are like way too free with their Suzu's. You're way too conservative with your Suzu's. When people get down, get to critical health, and they're still being attacked, throw Suzu's. Thanks. See, it's funny, because at the one time you did this, this is actually wrong, because Mei has block. So unless I saw her use block, I would assume she's going to save herself. This is the one time I would say, do not actually jump in and Suzu. I don't know how familiar you are, you are with all the heroes, but... Oh, you can't miss that. So watch, watch your aim right here. So you miss five right there. <coughs> One, two, and then I think you missed six or seven out of ten. That's a lot of healing to miss right there. <coughs> you just gotta, gotta be better about tracking. Good kill. You should recognize, hey, you're being targeted by the the junk here. Okay. So again, popping Suzu when critical also applies to yourself. That that would have killed you right there. <laughs> that grenade got <laughs> incredibly close to killing you. That was a scenario <coughs> where you really should have prioritized playing your life. <coughs> like you could have turned and swift stepped away or swift stepped to them even and climbed up here because the junk are trying to kill you. And your teammates are actually not low at all because they're not actually getting focused right now. So again, over over focusing on on damage, you can see right now your Winston is going to get super low here, right? Your Winston's down to half health, and your Maze we got super super low, and you're just still attacking. Unfortunately, Suzu does not bounce far enough to prevent Res. You should swift step to Anna here. You should swift step to Anna. No, please, you swift step to get away. No, not to your monkey. You don't want to go step into the middle of the fight. <coughs> so. Yeah, this is uh, questionable because you're pretty far from the point. This at this time, I think I would probably hold rush. So as soon as Ramatra pops ulti, I turned my Anna and then uh, switched them out. You should definitely get headshots when he's trapped. Good kill on the tire. Or May gets it, whatever. Take it. Suzu yourself. Heal the May. Heal. We also can save Junkrat here. <coughs> and then finally you die. Alright, regrouping. Nay's dead, unfortunate. No oh, man. So you've walked a lot of traps this game. I think you capped this. Great. <coughs> so let's look at final point. Uh, yeah, so the Genji comes over here. You would have heard him right now. <coughs> as soon as he starts attacking you, switch step <coughs> switch step to your Anna through the wall right away. Like, you should have died here. Got super low. Uh, yeah, the Genji's still here. I would Suzu myself for sure, right? So understanding breakpoints is very important. Genji does 24 damage per Shuriken. Uh, it might be nerfed to 23, but let's call it 24 for a moment. 
So 24 damage per shuriken. His right click does three shurikens at once. That's 72 damage. So 72 damage <coughs> plus dash. Dash is 50. So that's 122. 122 plus melee is 30 damage. And that's assuming no headshots. So Genji <coughs> can instantly do 152 damage, right? He dash. He dashes into you, right click melee, instantly does 150. So as soon as you drop below 150, you should be very, very careful about getting close enough to him that you can dash. Right? So right here, I would have turned already, because I know the Genji's coming for me. I probably would have suzu immediately. And then, again, watch from his perspective. Like, he dashes through you. If he just lands the melee right now, you're dead. But he just loses track of you. Oh. That's a thing that ha I've never seen that happen. What just happened here? Oh, interesting. Okay, I've never seen this interaction. <laughs> Obviously, don't <coughs> switch at the people who are falling off the map. Um, but I think in general, I don't think you need to switch step at all. It's like a little confusing why you did this, right? Just your maze off the map here. I don't think you realize that she's off the map, but she is off the map. So <coughs> I'll do that. Little details, like making sure all your healing gets to the Winston. You, you see how, again, one, two, three, four, plus the one that over there didn't make it there. And then you see how these ones, these like three collide into the wall. You're like, Winston needs his healing. Make sure that they get the full 10 of Fudas. Like, you got to track longer than you think you need to. Your Winston needs help. As soon as you go critical, switch step and Sudo. Yep. Healing. Heal your Ana, like you see from the left, right? They're going to be focusing your other support. You should be healing the Ana, not damaging. Again, you're going to have far more impact of healing than you are with damage. Focus healing over damage. <coughs> if you keep your Ana alive there, you win the fight. The problem is, like, you technically cap the point, but, like, you guys don't have enough to actually hold on to this, I think. So again, just watching your mechanics. So again, this should be an easy 10 heal, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 out of 10 healing missed at close range. You can't climb if you're going to keep missing heals like that. Also right here, you can see your Ana overextended. You should be switching to the Healy Ana now. Eh, I guess you can stop what you could have done there. No, not Suzu. I'm su surprised when you when did you Suzu? Right, I guess that's an okay Suzu. It's not great. You're like around the corners. So I wouldn't expect to die there. Jump in Winston. This is a mistake because you don't have an Ana. Yeah, you're gonna run to the problem where you're standing on point, but you're not actually able to cap it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't ulti here. I would not. Yeah, there's there's no way that you're gonna win this fight. Your Winston made a bad call to go in there. <coughs> Winston goes Zarya, which is not the worst choice, but the problem is you only have 10% left. Uh, you pop Rush. I think this is a reasonable Rush. I mean, like, you have to. This is last fight, you know? I think this is a reasonable Rush. I think you were saying, like, oh, this is a bad Rush. Like, no, you have to pop Rush here. But you have to be healing your Zarya. Like, you shouldn't have needed to switch that here. You should just follow the Zarya in. Right now, right? Just, just keep running up. Follow the Zarya. You see how you slow down? You should have just kept walking up like a little further and then Suzu so that it gets all the way to the point. But now you're trying to attack, but like, think about the value of your attacks here, okay? So let's watch your attacks. One hit, miss. Body shot, right? Miss, miss, miss. You know, was that more valuable than healing your Zarya for, you know, 110, actually probably, you probably got another second heal in, so like <coughs> 150 to 200, 200 health. I think the health is much more valuable, you know? Versus doing 80 damage to the tank is not not good value. Again, really, really important to focus on healing. I'm not saying you can't attack at all. I'm just saying make sure that you hit every single healing cooldown. What the heck killed that? You should have suzu'd yourself. Oh, you don't even have to. I would have Swiss Step. Swiss Step also would have saved you. How does this not kill you? I don't understand. What? 
I, I have no idea how this tire does not kill you. Nobody kills it. What the heck happened? You are the luckiest support ever. What the hell? <laughs> I have no idea how this doesn't kill you. But, alright. <coughs> Very bizarre. Again, a lot of panic here. Again, your perspective should be, hey, keep Zarya alive. Well, I mean, <coughs> though you actually need to get kills right now. But you should have Suzu'd. Okay, let me get this. Again, kill your Zarya! Your Zarya's still missing so much health! <laughs> like, getting people all the way up to full is very important. I, again, I think if you want to do this much damage, just play Baptiste or play Zen. <laughs> like, if you <laughs> if you find the healing part to be like stressful or like not what you want to do, just play Zen, and then you can attack all you want. Right? Or play Baptiste if you want to try to weave the damage and healing. Because the healing part of Kiriko is still, even with the changes, still far more important than the damage. So right... Here you see the Maywalk will well, get critical, and then you should have Suzu'd. It's, this is a tougher one to have predicted though, because she dies almost instantly. Yeah, that would have been really tough to, to get. We're just coming in. This might have been Terra Surge, but she doesn't have it. Jeez, that was worth an attack right there. When you come in and you see the junk drops down to 25 health. So this is a one tap to the body. So this is worth attacking for sure to make sure he dies. The fact that he doesn't die here is probably going to be game losing. Your baby was super low. Again, she wouldn't have faded if you had actually healed her. <laughs> but now that she doesn't have fade, she's in big trouble. No panic. You know, just, just keep healing. Suzu yourself. Suzu yourself. Okay. You gotta turn back in. Great. You might do this. Attack to Mercy. Yeah, the times where you like actually should be attacking, you're not attacking, and the times where you should be healing, you're attacking. Oh, that's really bad. So if you were in better position, you could see we've done something like this. So first of all, you shouldn't have spent this like time like running around the house. I know Lucio's there. It's not really your job to deal with that. You should have just been playing here with the team, and then you could have thrown Suzu to at least save one of them, if not two. So now two and five. Definitely should have saved that with the uh, junk rat coming in. Hmm. I wouldn't say definitely, but you had an opportunity. Kill Lucio. You're gonna need a duel here. You have you have Suzu. Jumping is bad for you here. Jumping's bad in general, but jumping is really bad for you because you have to hit headshots here to kill him. And it's easier to hit headshots if you're oh, uh, AD strafing versus oh this Katsune rush fire for you. Yeah, I mean this is fine because like what are you gonna do? You know, I think this is actually a reasonable Katsune to try to get your team back in. Like this is the last fight of the game. Like you have to give your team a shot here. get a chance to... Nah, you're not going to get back to the point. <coughs> okay, so, yeah, I would say number one, uh, don't let teammates die, especially DPS, especially when you have another main healer, uh, like an Anna and Moira. It is your job to keep the DPS alive. So, as you said, you're out of fear, you're not playing close enough to make an impact on the fight. Number two is not healing enough. I think I pointed out a lot of different situations where you were damaging for little to no value when you had low health teammates near you that you should have kept healing. <coughs> I think those are far and away uh, the biggest problems. I would say everything else is kind of like a much more minor detail. So I would just focus on those two major uh, <coughs> high level points uh, to, to improve. Okay, hopefully this is helpful.